guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video we're back for another Vegas Pro 16 tutorial. This time I'm going to be showing you how to create text animation in Vegas Pro 16. Now as always I'm going to be showing you multiple ways to do this. Now note it won't require any plugins. So I'm going to be showing you one which is going to be using built-in transitions. Then I'm going to be showing you another technique which is going to be using the track motion or the pan and crop. Now, to be honest, there's no right or wrong way of doing this effect. It's just about you being creative and choosing how you want it to look. Here we are on Vegas Pro 16, and the first thing you're going to need to do is head over to Media Generators. From here, scroll all the way down until you see Legacy Text, and drag on any one of these. Now, bear in mind, the ones with a checkered background means there's going to be no background to them. So it's probably going to be the best thing to use them. I'm just going to drag and drop on the default text. And here all I'm going to put is Casual Savage. I'm going to size down the fonts. There we go. And that's fine. So I'm going to X out of it. So there are a couple of ways to do this. And the first way I'm going to be showing you is using transitions. So from transitions there is, for example, 3D fly in. And also you can make it fly out. So like that. So all I'm going to do is drag on the default and you want to put it at the start. As you can see, this is now where you can edit the transition. Now, to be honest, you wouldn't need to touch it, so I can now X out of it. Then I can drag on this same transition to the end of the clip. Again, we can adjust it here. This time we're going to be changing it from fly in to fly out. Then we can X out of it. Now, to make the transition longer, you just left click and drag this bar out. So, for example, it's now two seconds. And also, I'm going to make sure it flies out at two seconds as well. So if I play this through, the text is going to fly in and it's going to stay there until it gets to this part right here. And it's going to fly away. So you can see it with no lag here, it's going to stay and then it's going to fly away. The other ones I recommend is tumble in and also spin away. It just creates cool effect on the text. And now I'm going to be showing you the other way to do this, which is manual. However, you do get more control and more creative because you can control the exact way you want it to be. So to do it this way, you can either use the pan and crop or you can use the track motion tool. Now, to be honest, I always use the track motion tool, but bear in mind, anything else that is on this track will be affected by the end keyframe. So that'll make more sense at the end. So I'm going to be using track motion. For those that use pan and crop, it's going to be the exact same steps. It's the exact same, so there's no need to worry. And what I'm going to do is have the text sort of swing into the center sit there for a bit and then swing out at the top right. So to do this, what we're first going to be doing is rotating the text. So you can see I've got this circle here in the middle to rotate the text. If you don't see it, then just head over to the top and make sure enable rotation is highlighted. Then I'm going to drag this off to the top left like this. Now bear in mind my text here is 10 seconds. So I'm going to make it take two seconds to come in. So now what I'm going to do is just right click and select restore box. This has positioned it to the center. I'm then going to come across on my timeline to eight seconds. And all I'm going to do is press create keyframe. So what this is going to do, it's going to take two seconds to swing in. Then it's going to take six seconds just sitting completely still. Now bear in mind it is a 10 second clip like I've mentioned. I'm then going to click to the end. Notice it goes off screen, so then just press this button to go back one keyframe so you can see the text. And all I'm going to do is do the opposite to what I did on the first keyframe. So I'm going to rotate it, and I'm going to swing it off to the top right. Now I can X out of it, and this is now what we've just created. So the text swings in, it's going to sit there for 6 seconds, and after that 6 seconds it's then going to swing off to the top right just like that. Super, super simple. And by this way, you can see you do get complete control because you control the motion, you control what happens. For example, when it's in the center here, we can have it slowly scrolling across. So I'll show you that right now. So the first keyframe, it starts at the top left. I'm then going to go across to two seconds. I'm just going to right click, select restore box, but then I'm going to drag it off to the left. Then I'm going to go across to 8 seconds, right click restore box, and I'm going to drag this off to the right a bit. Now I'll X out of it, and now what it's going to do is swing in from the top left, and it's going to slowly scroll across for 6 seconds, then it's going to swing off to the top right. So you can see, just like this, it's going to scroll across for 6 seconds, and after 6 seconds, it's going to go off to the top right. 
Super simple and you can be really really creative with this and of course just take advantage, play around with it, there's no right or wrong way, it's just however you like it and of course you get complete control of it.